Good day. This video is the second in a series of making your first color coded working diagram using LACE 8. Continuing from where we left off in video 1, we're now going to do the spider. First of all, let's refresh our memory and change the, f the layer to the spider layer. Double check and make sure everything's locked except for that. This has got numbers in it, the foot side, so let's make that locked. And let's now look at this spider here that we're going to do, rather than that one. And the reason we're working on this second spider is because we'll have the green coming in from this side and this side, and we'll make that a little bit easier matching it all up. First of all, let's zoom right in. Go to Drawing Tools, and let's consider, I'm assuming we're doing a standard cloth stitch spider with a half stitch edge. Now we could incorporate this as your half stitch edge, however these will be angled at the wrong angle, so let's do this by hand. First of all the dots, make sure Snap to Grid is turned on, and put the dots in. You notice they're in slightly different location than they are on the layer below. That's not a problem because we're not printing the two layers at the same time. Now we turn off a snap to grid. And we go to smooth curve. We're going to do the coming in threads first. And they'll be green. So let's make sure the default color is green for smooth curve and it's smooth curve size 2. We now need to think about where the threads actually go. For example, the thread from here will be coming around the top pinhole, around, and in on here. So the green we're going to be doing is from here, around, around, and then stops just inside. So let's draw these in. And then the next one. And you notice this is a bit longer. because this one comes in and around. Now, we could start from here and go that way. I tend to like to start from the original point, so I'm going to go this direction. And again, Now I'm going to use the Curve Gimp. Now this needs to be the right colour for cloth stitch, which is purple. Now how do I know this? We look at the colour code here. Cloth stitch is purple. So let's change the Smooth Curve colour to purple. Sorry, the Curved Gimp colour to purple, because we're using the Curve Gimp. And two for that. And let's put these in. Now you notice I'm only doing one side of the spider. That's deliberate because I'm going to actually duplicate it. There we go. Group select. And 
and we'll go transform flip horizontally leaving the originals and we want to flip it to the left it's flipped it too far over so now we just gently bring it back until it's lined up properly now one of the things you will notice is that we have got this one here which would look a little bit nicer ah, that's not going to work for me so drag it out the way reselect this bring it down a little bit bring that one back that sits better now let's reselect our spider so we can duplicate that copy snap to grid I'm going to zoom out to put in our spiders paste line it up press enter bring it down line it up press enter oh, sorry line it up left mouse click right mouse click to deselect now one of the things it didn't do is we've lost that curve here so I'm just going to copy it and select it copy paste it out here select transform flip horizontal copy it I'm going to turn off snap to grid and delete that one out there and then just slowly come in and put this one where it belongs there's the spiders done moving on we're going to do the fan first we're going to have to consider what stitch we're going to use I'm going to use half stitch because I'll have a half stitch fan with a cloth stitch trail next to it separating it out from the spiders and the half stitch ground also looking at this you'll notice that we start from this point and come down and over here we come down out of the fan which means that at this pinhole here we're going to have to either do a cloth stitch with a twist pin cloth stitch with a twist to keep that thread that we're using as the weaver to continue weaving through and that's certainly what you do if you're using a contrasting color or we're going to have to change here with the thread that we're actually using as the weaver moving on let's look at this now the first of all I'm going to put in is a gimp line down along here that I'm using as my halfway mark so that I know to stop halfway using smooth curves turning off snap to grid and making sure that the color is green in my case smooth curve green zooming in nice and clear putting in my weaving line so you can see where I'm going stopping there changing the thread remembering I'm going to do cloth stitch with a twist pin cloth stitch with a twist 
Let's do that around like that so it makes it easy to see that that's what we've done. And then head down that way. Now when I copy this later on, this is going to be in the wrong spot, so let's just go and fix that. Actually delete it and do that little bit again. It's going to start at approximately there. Change back to green. And in line here, starting there, just slightly above the line. Now we need to put the passives in. Now the first passive is the one that's going to come across here and that's going to be in red. I think I'll use Curve Gimp. Make sure it's in red size 2 and it's going to start from approximately that point so approximately there all the way through to that point here and then put the curve in that gives us our cross twist cross twist out here at the edge to give it a firmer edge now it's moving on to smooth curves and we're going to move into the second one. Now we're starting this one between that pinhole and that pinhole at the line. We're going to curve it up slightly because we're going to use it to fill in. And then come down. Remember we're not starting from the pinhole, it's going to start over here. So just stop just there and that then will go on from there and around repeating that for each of these and that's the fan done let's zoom out a little bit and we're going to copy and paste this down so let's copy it Snap to grid, copy and paste. Let's zoom in and make sure this all lines up. That's come up well, so that's good. Now we've got another to paste in. And that just leaves us with the trail to do next.